Today we are reviewing the Asus GTX 750 TOC. This will be our first review of a GTX 750T with a 6-pin power connector. We are looking forward to seeing how it does in our benchmark lineup today, especially since it has been expanded a bit and changed since the last time we looked at these budget-friendly video cards. Asus has also overclocked the card out of the box and uses their direct CU dual fan thermal solution on the card, but without heat pipes. We really don't have a whole lot more say today, so let's leave it at that and move to the package of the Asus GTX 750T2GB OC Edition to see just what exactly we have hands here today. Taking a look at the box, you can see the overall design is similar to other Asus cards we've looked at. You can easily see the brand and model on the front along with some of the main features, including the fact it's overclocked, carries a dual fan cooling solution. Turning the box over, you can see a picture of the card along with a look at the I.O. side of things showing the connectors. On the right side, we get an expanded look at some of those main features that are included. The GeForce GTX 750T and GTX 750T are based on the 28nm GM107 silicon. This 1.87 billion transistor GPU features a basic component hierarchy and dual fan thermal solution on the card, but without heat pipes. This edition comes with a custom cooling cooling solution which by itself will allow a slight performance boost as GeForce GTX 750T benefits from the GPU Boost 2.0 technology. Benchmarks indicate its performance is only around 3% better than the reference NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750T and GeForce GTX 650T Boost Edition are still faster. Unlike higher-end cards, you don't see a whole bunch of copper heat pipes or anything like that coming out of the top of the card. Considering the fact we are dealing with a lower-end GPU here, though, the dual fan setup with a massive heatsink should perform well. You will receive in a box, a graphics card, and a driver CD plus documentation. Taking a look at the card, you can see it's not too large, and the dual fan heatsink manages to hang over the back by a decent chunk. Behind the two large fans, you can also see that we have a massive heatsink covering the entire PCB. Finishing our look at the Asus GTX 750T2GB OC, we move over to the I.O. department, where we find a single VGA port alongside a single HDMI port. In between these two ports, you can see we have two dual-link DVI-D connectors. When we benchmark video cards and look at the graphs, we aim to get to a certain level of frame, which we consider playable. While many may argue that the human eye can't see over 24 frame or 30 frame, any true gamer will tell you that as we climb higher in frames, the overall gameplay feels smoother. A memory chip by Samsung. They are specified to run at 1500 MHz. Taking a look around the card, you can see we have just a single 6-pin PCI power connector on the card. It's interesting to see that Asus has chosen to place it towards the front of the card, though, instead of the back. 6-pin PSI power connector on the card. It's interesting to see that Asus has chosen to place it towards the front of the card, though, instead of the back. This power configuration can provide up to 150W of power. You cannot use the card without the power connector. Check the graphic card power cable located on top of the graphic card, easy to plug. After installation graphic card and Asus Z97C motherboard. End of this video, say pros and cons of Asus GTX 750 TOC booster. Pros and cons of Asus GTX 750 Ti OC booster.
thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, see you friends in next video Hercules signing out.